what? We've had a note. We've had some mail. That's mail. It's been a long time since we had some mail, isn't it? Well, actually, like proper mail as opposed to boxes. Okay. It's not a summons by a chance, is it? No, you didn't, you, you, you didn't sign for anything or like that and somebody sort of run off saying you've been served. No, that's all right. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Uh, hello, everybody. Retro Bear here. We have a note and some gifts, some donations to the gaming collection. Hope you're well. Um, as you may be aware, see, see this seems very strange, I've just recorded video and I didn't know the sound turned on. It's probably the best way to watch my videos actually. Possibly even with the screen turned off so you get this wonderful experience of absolute nothingness. Um, anyway, so I'm doing this the second time, so I'm trying to do the same old gags I was doing earlier. Hmm. We'll just take a pause for a moment for the gags that aren't going to make it into this. I can't remember exactly what I was talking about. There we go. Moment of silence. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I've got some uh, gifts sent to the posting. I'm not collecting much at the moment, picking things up. Um, I, I went to a game shop at the weekend for the first time in absolutely the ages. Uh, didn't buy anything. Um, but this was sent to the post to me. It's, again, it's one of these fascinating stories. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Jace over at RetroGames.co.uk, uh, used to run a competition. And uh, one week, this particular YouTuber was, was taking part in it and won. And uh, he won a game for a system he doesn't own. But he said, I know exactly who I'm going to send that to or can pass it on to or look after it. It's going to be my, my friend Retro Bear. So, after absolutely ages of trying to get it sorted out, and again, the blame is entirely at my doorstep on this one. Uh, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to have it, and just didn't communicate where I actually live, because that's, that's quite important. You know, when I send somebody something, you need to know where they live. You can't just put Retro Bear, middle of the country, England, and it gets there. Challenge. Somebody do that. Somebody, somebody actually do that, see if it ends up over it. It won't, but anyway. <laughs> It'll just end up in that bloody pile of royal mail or lost mail, which ends up somewhere else. So... Um, this has come all the way from <laughs> via retro games at go, go UK to my very very good friend Stuart over at Generation Pixel uh, up in Scotland and then back down here. Uh, he, he made mention he had to go through Mrs Bear to get this, which did make me wonder what he was getting up to. Uh, but as he quite point, pointed out in an email I sent to him last week uh, or the or on this week thanking him for the parcel, um, it's all right because you know his better half tends to drive him as well drive through him, I don't know what's going on there, it's something else. So he's coming by Scotland. I'm not going to make any jokes about Scotland this time, because the last time I made comments about Scotland on, the, on a TMB, I offended two or three people who were there. One of these is actually uh, the person who sent me this here, so he's probably loaded with anthrax or something, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I hope not, anyway. Uh, but no, it's very very generous of Stu, I've known Stu for, you know, since he'd been in his early days of YouTube, of course, YouTube of the year 2021. Uh, did a great job hosting it last year, uh, great channel, uh, if you've not seen him, go and watch him. He does really good videos, really well thought out, nice presentation. If you like that, that's just that you know, you like the videos that are really presented very well, not like you know, sort of grainy, horrible, dingy videos like I do. And just a very, very nice person. You know, I've, he's been on Desert Island with me, he's been on, they're not literally, but he's been on the Desert Island uh, the video I used to do. He's been on the TMB a couple of times. Uh, I've done a couple, I've been, I've done one introduction with him for one of his videos, which is. Still on his opening titles with his videos. I'm not surprised people still watch because I'm on there. Um, anyway, so I've, I've got his letter here, which is great. I'd like to keep all these. It'll go up there on the piles too with everybody else's. Uh, I'm not sure if you have sent me anything else before. I can't remember. Uh, I know I sent you a, a Retro Bear T-shirt when I was doing those, but I can't remember if, if um, you've sent me anything else. But if you have them, great. But see, so, uh, Russ, uh, you made me go through your better half to get to this. Yeah, see, get this to you. He's bragging about it now. So do I, do I have to now imply that there's something going on between him and Mrs. Bear? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, I've also dropped in Unnamed Gang, so I'll tell you what that is. It's going to give that away. Uh, I don't know if you have it, but you will love the soundtrack. Specky Kids Rule. I don't know if he's being insulting because I wear glasses or because he wears glasses. or He can't be talking about the Spectrum being better than the Commodore 64. No, that's, that's slander. Uh, Stu. There we go. So uh, thank you very much for that, Stu. I'll stick it on the shelf over there after my lawyers have had a look at that reference to the, uh, going through Mrs. Bear to, to get to me. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, yep, so what have we got? Um, like I said, so he, he, won a, he won a game in his competition and, and he knew I got this system, he hadn't got it, and he said, well, I know somebody who'd make good of that. Uh, and I got this system at Thailand last year. 
and I haven't got any games for it, but unbeknownst to me, despite the fact I did two videos on it, a short and a video, and it does say on the front of the box, built-in game. Um, <laughs> it's Atari 7800, for those of you wondering what I'm talking about. I've got Astro Asteroids is built into it. I didn't know. I, I don't research these things properly. And Stu won a 7800 game, so it's come to me, which is great. So I've got my first official 7800 game, which is fantastic. Um, and it's called Jinx. There we go. And it's coming a box protector as well. That's unusual around here, box protectors. Uh, it's, sadly, it's not a game about an orange cat with a bow tie, which really did disappoint me. It appears to be about some sort of like, one of them like practice golf balls you used to get with all the holes in that didn't go very far. Uh, it, it's a box protector. It's not the best box. There's some damage down the bottom there, but it does come with a protector. And um, this is the anthrax test. No, we're still breathing. Oh, that's good. Um, it, I say this batch. It's got some. I think this may be the shrinkage. It's not the best condition. There is some damage down there. I can imagine Stu's keeling over at this point in time. Um, and I can't tell you what it is because the, there's instructions in the way in the back, and the instructions are in French as well. So not only is really is triggering me this one, but it's it's a box seventy eight hundred game. So I'm, I'm really grateful for you sending me that, Stu. You didn't have to do that. Um, and I must be honest with you, when you won that that week, I was quite jealous because I thought, oh, yeah, actually I'd like to win that. So I think, I can't remember what I won when I, I won that competition once. I can't remember what I got. Um, Mrs. Bear won a Llama Soft Commodore's uh, VIC-20 game, which was great because we actually we had got a VIC-20, so I did show that off as well. But yeah, that's due. We'll go up with the old, seven, uh, the old 2600 stuff up there. The Atari cartridge collection. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Um, that's great. That's brilliant. Um, and then the other game that he sent me. So we're going from one scale to the game from the old dark days of, of video gaming up to, to more current. I'm looking over my shoulder and I appear to have. I know I've got the first one on the PlayStation 2, on the PlayStation 2 wall. I can see it there. Even with my bad eyesight, I can see it there. I can't remember if I've got the second one. I'm. I spent the back of my mind thinking I maybe have it on the 360. Not quite sure. But me and Stuart discussed this game before and he mentioned the fact that um, it was uh, there's a great soundtrack on it. I've looked the soundtrack up since he got since he sent it to me. And it's you know, sixties and seventies is absolutely ram full of stuff. Uh, you know, Rolling Stones, Aretha Franklin, Dusty Springfield, Creedence Clearwater Revival, brilliant stuff. Um so yeah, so I'm 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 destined to to maybe stick this in 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 this in the uh, the PS4 because it's a PS4 game. We don't show many PS4 games off of this channel, uh, so I'm really pleased that he decided because he, he's raved about this the game to me as well. He sent me a copy of Mafia Three, which is very generous of him to do so. Anthrax check. No, we're all right. Um, there we go. So, disc and manual as I would expect from someone like. Mr. Generation Pixel to send it through, and it's a 1968 New Bordeaux, Louisiana. So it's got that Southern American vibe to it. Which I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing this. Um, although I've been told I have to sit there and wait at least three hours for it to download. I might have to delete some stuff off my hard drive to load this because I've only got the smallest one of the lot. Because I didn't think I'll be actually playing too many games on it because we initially bought it as a um, a Blu-ray player. I, I tend to stream more. Or play off PlayStation now as it is anyway. But yeah, that's really good of you. Thanks to you. I haven't got it. Um, it will go on the shelf with my other PlayStation 4 games. Um, some of the there's some, some donations in that. Spider Man donated to me by uh, Retro Ram and I think Fire Pro Wrestling as well. So it's really, really you know, generosity of people on YouTube sometimes is fantastic. You know, people who send me things all the time, whether it's things I mentioned and. Um, uh, or, or whether it's stuff they think I'll be interested in or would be better off with me to look after and keep hold of because people know I don't play any of it so it's going to be preserved nicely uh, stuff they just don't want anymore and stuff which is better off down the tip but much better in my collection I'm thinking back to that lunchbox full of blank uh, lunchbox full of cassetteless cassette boxless games which David Retro Games played badly sent me him ages ago what's that stuck up there now? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Mrs. Bear has added a couple of Stella, uh, has added a four pack of Stella Artois in a rather. Um... <laughs> I didn't notice that. 
I'm not sure whether that's been on the video I did previously on the DS or whether it's gone up today. There you go. There you go. I, I didn't even know it was there. That could have been sat there for months and I would have known. Anyway, there you go. I think that's a Mrs. Bear tribute to David. There we go. She's been, hopefully he hasn't been through her either, but anyway. Um, so, Stu, thank you very much indeed for those brilliant donations. Great to, to have those sent through. Sorry I, I didn't get it sorted out any sooner, but... Um, yeah, one one day when we finally sit down, mate, and have a, have a drink or something, um, I'll be able to thank you personally for those, and much appreciated. That's great. That's all there is. There isn't any more than that. I'm not going to keep you any longer than I need to. If you have uh, enjoyed that video, um, I'm very happy to sit here and say to you that I am you know, very much um, an alcoholic. Uh, I can't get enough of the algos. So, uh, if you want to feed my algo, algoholism, I don't mind, that might offend a few people. Yeah, whatever. Like, subscribe, tick the bell, do what you need to do, leave a comment. Have you played those games? Are they any good? Um, and that, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you again in the pantry sometime soon. This is the Retro Bear. Saying bye for now. Bye bye.